Thank you for such a beautiful introduction. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, my name is Weston, Frank Weston, and I won't be long. I have a few things that I want to share with you. Uh, by way of introduction, uh, I will say that I'm one of those guys who move around the world, the planet, the community, and I'm there when you sleep. We're getting your back. We're making sure that our community is safe. There's a team of us that works together internationally. Uh, when I got into the United Nations, I went after um, your government or this government here and challenged them uh, over the fact that uh, our wealth and interests in Africa and the world was being mismanaged. Mm, and that they have never, ever, 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 or nor could they represent our cultural interests anywhere on the planet. So therefore, our wealth, our land, uh, have been stolen and are still in the process of being stolen. They go to the United Nations to steal and to misuse and yes. to disrupt. Yes. I go there with my team to take it back. Right. So, jokingly, sometimes the kids and others call me a poor man's James Bond, but I call myself somewhere between a cross between James Bond, Indiana Jones, John Shaft, <laughs> and anything that you, and anything that you are in your house. That's what you are about, okay? Uh, uh, I, I live to die, and therefore every day I live, I enjoy life. Yes. And uh, uh, I mean what I say. We are there, a lot of invisible people, some are still alive, some have fallen. We are there to get your back. I want you to stand up, <coughs> get your backs and your, str and, and, and your spine, straighten them out. Know that there's no reason to be intimidated, nothing exactly. to fear. Exactly. Okay? We are back as a people. When you look at this room here, as I do from this perspective, I see Africa. And you're from all over the Af continent of Africa. Our ancestors gave up nothing when they left there. Therefore, the wealth, the land, and the resources of Africa belongs to you. It belongs to us. And we're going to make sure, darn sure, that you get your share and get it back. I have a few things to talk about here today. I won't be long. I have a few things to talk about here today. And I brought some images. And for the beautiful kids in the room, and, the, and the, 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 those of us who lost a few years, as you said, I looked a little young in a film that you just saw. But you know something, it, you know, it's, it's, it's all good, it's all cool. I want to say to you that the United Nations, if you look at it now, they're using it the way they used it in 18, uh, 1882, where all the nations came together to grab Africa, or to grab something that they didn't own. Well, that Libyan situation, the Egyptian situation, the Arabs in North Africa, they are, in fact, invaders. They are, in yes. fact, squatters yes. on the map. Yes. Yes. And so when you, when you look at this and you check out what is taking place, and they are saying that we're going to go in, and Obama's government now that he's representing, oh, it's not the brother. The brother's doing what he has to do, you know, and he's there. We put him there. And we're going to back him, okay? But we got to watch him, okay? And because he's there, don't be easy on him. Watch him closely. No, don't be easy on him. Hit him as hard as you possibly can, because that's how hard they've hit us. He's our representative. He, the buck stops with him. And I don't, I don't give him any breaks. I'm about to send a letter to the Attorney General right now and saying to the Attorney General that the Obama administration that he's dealing with is, rep is, is misrepresenting our cultural, our interests, and our civil and our human rights. And they're doing it, they're doing it because you're going into Libya and you're saying that you're gonna go in there and free and help those people get their land back? Hello, that's our land. And you need to mention that, okay? And you say you're going to help the rebels, and you don't even know who they are? And we got elderly here in this country, and you know who they are, and you can't help them, and you can't represent them? Or you got a social security system, a social security system in this country, and you're saying that you can only get back what you put in? Well, what about the people who picked cotton? Right. 50, 60 years ago, 40 years ago, their labor wasn't even registered. Right. And so now they're saying, well, you didn't pay in. What do you mean pay in? They built this country. So, so what we're about, what we're about at the United Nations, and we need you. We really need you to step up and get our, get our, get our backs. And, 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 and as the brother said, there are some things happening here that we need to hear about. And this sister that just, that just left the stage uh, talked about the crystals and all of that. Well, she is right. 
Because if it wasn't for that belief system and those belief systems and the belief systems that are being espoused here, I wouldn't have a ground to stand on. Exactly. So keep what you're doing. Stay, stay strong. <coughs> because that's all that I have to go on. All that we have to go on. Now, children in the room, listen to me and listen well. I won't be long, but just listen well. I brought a few objects up to show you, okay? Here, by the way, here is Africa. This is your Africa. This is your Africa. It is as pure as gold. It is as wealthy as you ever will dream of being. Yeah. And adults, please understand that we are not poor, never have been poor, never could be poor. We were brought out of Africa. They were too stupid to realize what we had and what we own. They were too busy taking and stealing our people, our ancestors, our grandmothers and grandfathers. Now they realize that Africa's minerals and resources, in fact, nine strategic minerals feed Europe, America, right. and China. And we own it. We own it. There are two bags of, of, of items that I brought to the table here that I'm going to pass around the room. And these two, these two bags here, this is America's economy. This is gum Arabic. It heals the body. It, it dissolves in cold water. It's in every glass of wine you drink, every Coca-Cola, every Pepsi-Cola, every cookie you drink, every aspirin that is made, every piece of uh, quality bread. Uh, this is what is in it. It's a natural stabilizer, and it grows on a tree called the acacia tree. And that tree only grows across North Africa exclusively. It will grow in Texas as they stole the trees and brought them to Texas and to, and to Austria. But the gum didn't produce because it's the, it's the climate and it's the soil, okay? It is, it is, it's your blood. It's the blood of the soil that we as a people came from. Now, I'm gonna pass this around, and if you wanna dip in the bag and take one, uh, uh, go ahead and do it. But I, I strongly advise you that don't know about it, Google it. It's very simple, gum Arabic, gum Arabic. Just take it and Google it and see what it is. We own this, and I bring it up for one reason. Here's, a, here's an email here that was sent by the U.S. State Department. It was sent by the United States State Department against me and against the organization that I represent at the United Nations. And the email says that this was smuggled to the embassy in Sudan. And it said that we've got to stop Frank Weston. This guy is out of control. It's too much power for one black man. And what had I done? No. I simply went to my homeland and made a deal with my people to get my wealth. All right. I go on television so they see this. So now the deal that I made, I admit that I, did, I made a good deal. The deal <laughs> is worth over a billion US dollars. And it's about that gum that's being passed around. That is America's economy. And so that gum, Germany's bare aspirin wouldn't exist without it. This email says, find something on the people that Frank Weston is dealing with in Sudan. <laughs> Watch him, don't go after Frank Weston because he's liable to come after us and sue us. Now the people in Sudan that they smuggled the email to had known me. So they got a hand on this and smuggled it back to me. Now I'm about to give this email. I'm about to give this email to your attorney general and tell your attorney general in this country that this is a violation of our human rights. I don't stand alone.